driving the kids on the way to school this past week, I heard an interesting news story. Maybe you heard this too. It was about this recent research study done to learn more about busyness. Busyness. Start with this fact. In many places in the world, leisure time, that's free time without lots of things to do, is a sign of status or wealth. Wealthy people are often called the idle rich, right? If you're a person of means, you don't busy yourself with things like work. But new research at Georgetown University shows that in the United States, the status symbol of leisure has been turned on its head. Here's the takeaway from the research. In American culture, people seem to attribute higher status, higher social standing to individuals who are always busy, who are always working hard. In other words, Busy people are seen as more important than others. So it's not just nice cars, or big houses, or fancy jewelry that shows off your status. Now, it's also your crammed full calendar. That's the new bling. Well, I know what you're thinking. Duh, right? We had to do a research study to tell us what we already know, what we already feel in our own lives. We know that busyness too easily becomes a fabric of our lives. Whether it's doctor's appointments for older folks, or sports and extracurriculars for younger folks, or getting pulled in both directions for the folks in between, we are busy. We are always on the way to something. I call my mother and she says, I'm on the way to the store. <clears throat> I call my sister and she says, I'm on the way to work. I call my wife and I say, I'm on the way home. We are always on the way to somewhere, always moving to the next thing. Our lives wrapped up so much in where we are going, where we need to be, what will worry us or consume us next, where will our busyness take us? Well, our gospel story, this reading from Luke, happens on the way. On Easter Day, the first day of the week, the day of the resurrection, two disciples of Jesus were on their way, on the road, to a place called Emmaus. They were leaving Jerusalem, the city where Jesus had been arrested and put to death just three days early. And on their way out of town, they must have heard the strange reports about an empty tomb and an angel suggesting that maybe Jesus was, in fact, alive. And so on the road to Emmaus, on the way, these disciples were busy talking about these things. They're busy with their sadness. The Lord they loved, the one who they hoped would be God's Redeemer, had been crucified, and all their hopes were dashed. But they were also busy with their confusion. Some women who they knew had been to the tomb, and he was not there. So they must not have known what to hope for anymore. At that moment, in their busyness, their minds really, Jesus comes to them. Jesus comes. You see, Jesus joined them in their busyness, in their sadness, and in their confusion. He began to walk along with them. But they did not know it was Jesus. We don't know why they didn't recognize him. The Bible says their eyes were kept from recognizing him, but why? Did he look different? 
Were they just not really expecting to see him? Or was it that they were just too busy, too caught up in all their stuff to behold the Lord who was there with them in that moment? Well, we don't know for sure. But we do know that eventually they did recognize Jesus. But it happened when they slowed down. When evening neared, and they were stopping for the night, they asked this stranger to come and share a meal at the table with them. With the busyness of the day and all the worries behind them, they paused to break bread, and then, then, their eyes were open, and they knew that it was Day planner, 
to keep up with all your appointments, write an appointment every week for the rest of the year. Jesus is here. Or if you keep up with all your to-dos with a calendar on your phone, we'll create a new event to repeat every day. I Jesus is here. Doing those things won't make you less busy. And it won't solve all your struggles with status or what's most important. But it will proclaim this truth. The risen Christ is with you. On the way. Every day. Thanks.